Maintaining a robust domestic fuel supply chain is a matter of national security, and the current fleet of fuel cycle facilities is growing to support and increase global electricity demand. However, unprecedented NRC annual fees are inhibiting such planned growth. I am particularly interested in the licensing process for fast spectrum reactors which do not require plutonium separation. Currently, the NRC does not clearly state through which part they will license reprocessing facilities that do not separate uranium. They could be licensed under two categories, a part 50 to 52 or a part 70. Uh, Commissioner Capitu, in your opinion, would licensing a fast reactor facility solely under part 70 make the licensing process more streamlined for these facilities? The licensing of advanced reactor would take place under 50 or 52 at this point, or 53, um, since those rulemakings are to address reactors and reactor safety. If you're talking about the process of recycling the fuel, that is, um, in my mind, much more of a fuel facility type application. So there may be an artifact in the nature of the language of the Atomic Energy Act um, that would drive us as an agency toward regulating it like a reactor under the regulatory framework that we use for reactors. But um, I think it's, it's probably more practical um, to, to find a way to do that under Part 70. But I'd, I'd like to take that for the record. I think there might be some legal implications there. Well, you know, just maybe just follow up. You know, given that Part 70 licensing focuses on the fuel cycle, uh, do you agree that the Part 70 has a more relevant requirements for the fast uh, reactor facilities? I'm sorry, I don't understand yeah, I'm question. sorry. Do you agree that the Part 70 has more relevant requirements for fast reactor facilities under, under that part then? I, I do. When it comes to recycling facility, it's, it's Part 70 is for regulating fuel. So if you're talking about recycling, you are taking fuel, disassembling it, processing it in some manner, um, recovering the usable materials and then using those materials to fabricate new fuel. So it's 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 much more of a fuel um, processing type of a plant than a active reactor with an ongoing nuclear reaction and all of the safety provisions that go with that. Let me, let me ask this because again, uh, unfortunately, we've had two hearings going on uh, in the committee this morning. In the discussion, you know, especially when you think about the French and the recycling of their spent nuclear rods, mm -hmm. should we be doing that in the United States? Because, I, and going back, you know, about 1975 and then in 76, there was, the, there was the discussion that we should not be doing it, but especially what we're looking at now with what we should be doing into the future and also hearing that we could have maybe 100 years of fuel out there for our newer type reactors out there. Is, is this something we should be doing in the future in this country? There are historical reasons why the countries that chose to recycle developed those processes. They were fairly ex expensive at the time. It was with the expectation that uranium itself would be expensive. Um, it, the cost-effective nature of reprocessing at this point isn't necessarily there with that process. Um, so what I think will be interesting to come is there are other technologies under discussion now that would be a very different type of, pro of processing technology that could be more cost effective and more efficient at reducing the amount of waste or the nature of waste that would ultimately require disposal. So I think I'm, I will be interested to see which of those technologies develops and, and comes forward um, to, for regulatory approval. Maybe, and again, just to ask the, uh, everyone on the commission, has anybody been to France to see what they do? Yes. I, I have not yet. Okay. Commissioner Wright, have you been by chance to France to see on their, on their recycling? Commissioner Crow? I have not, but I've visited the Japanese facility intended to do the same thing. Yeah. I've been to the Japanese facility as well. I beg your pardon? I've been to the Japanese facility. You've been to the well. Japanese. Well, anybody else been to the Japanese facility? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think that's, you know, again, unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask, have the rest of my questions submitted for the record, but I think it's really important in this country that we explore that because, again, what we could have, should have been thinking about 49 years ago. Here we are again today. So, 
I think that's an important question. And with that, uh, I yield back the balance of my time. 